Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Ella Dishes it, Dishes it Out. Today, we're going to be making some beef short ribs in the crock pot. So these are my beef short ribs. I've already washed them. It's four of them. They've been washed. All right, so then we're gonna, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna add some flour to this bowl. It's flour, salt, and pepper, a cup, to this bowl. And we're gonna get them well coated and we're gonna put them on the stove on the, on the stove for about, until they're brown. And then we're gonna transfer it with the seasonings to the crock pot. We're also gonna add some carrots to the crock pot as well. So I'm gonna move so I can show you the other ingredients that we're gonna be adding to this dish. So here we're gonna go walk around to the stove. Okay, the other ingredients we're adding is uh, beef stock, honey, teaspoon of honey. We've got two bay leaves, crushed garlic, fresh garlic, and a, two small onions that have been uh, already chopped up. We've got our little seasonings here, some pap paprika, some um, uh, cho uh, cho thyme, and uh, some Old Bay. Okay, and then we're also gonna add a teaspoon of, Worc a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce to our pan. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna mount the camera on this side so you can see what I'm doing as I'm cooking. Okay, this is my pan. I'm gonna turn it. Well, I'm not, gonna, I'm not ready for that yet because I've got to put the flour on my ribs. So I'll come over here. I'm gonna add some flour mixture to my ribs. Okay. Take these ribs. Get them floured real good. Get them floured real well. Okay. So, got them floured. Now, I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of this olive oil to this pan. I'm gonna open it. Olive oil. One. About one tablespoon to the pan, just enough to get them brown. So now I'm ready to turn the stove on. We got the stove on. Just get this olive oil spread all the way around. The recipe called for one tablespoon of olive oil, so we'll see how that works. So, put my ribs in the pan so I can get them brown. Okay. We're gonna brown those. Set this flour to the side. Time now. Right now, at my house, it's 11:20 a.m. So, 11:12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By 5:20, 5:30, they'll be completely done, and that's perfect because it's just in time for dinner. All right. Next. Okay, so we're gonna brown. We gotta brown these. I'm gonna get my. I need to get my tongs. Good tongs. So I'm gonna let these ribs brown. Okay. 
Okay, so let me flip and see what's happening. We're not cooking them, we're just browning them. get a little brown. So I will put this down over here before we're ready to add our other ingredients. So this is the beef stock we're gonna use. Now to go along with this dish you could cook a lot of different things like um, you can maybe cook some uh, mashed potatoes, I think that's what I'm gonna make, some Gouda mashed potatoes to go along with these, these short ribs. And uh, I've got my carrots, so I'll need a green vegetable. Maybe I'll add uh, along some green beans to it as well to complete the meal. Okay, you can add whatever vegetables you like to your meal. Okay, so at the same time, I'm gonna stop the, the stop filming and come back when the when the uh, ribs are ready. Okay, I'm back and these ribs are done, so I'm gonna transfer them to the crock pot and I'll be right back. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. make our uh, stock. Okay, so we're going to put our onions in here, I mean our garlic in the skillet. Put our onions in the skillet. I'm just going to saute these. Just a little bit uh, more olive oil to the skin. Maybe some, some olive oil. Tablespoon olive oil just to get them going. in the room guys so just um in case she does her name is bella wisdom bella and she has her own youtube channel as well where she um plays with the youtube with the dolls the lol dolls kids are going crazy about these lol dolls lately i mean it's a car place that you can find them in the stores now they're so popular but just like any other toy that you know popular. They run out. Yes, I am. Because I was telling them that you have your own channel. Right? Well, you open LOL dolls. And how it's hard to find them. Sometimes. Yes. It's called Bella Unboxing Videos. So look for her on YouTube as well, guys. Okay. So I believe these onions are ready. Next we're gonna add my bay leaf, our Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna add our pure leaf. I'm gonna have to get some to pull that out. We're gonna add our seasoning. We're gonna add the stock. Stop. A whole bottle.
high so I can get this um, tomato puree. You can use tomato paste as well if you don't have puree. Use tomato paste. Okay. Now, tablespoon of honey. Up, get me a spatula, and stir. So everything's mixed well. Layla, Layla is my dog that I rescued. She wants to get out and play, but she has to stay in her kennel for right now. I finished cooking. Okay, so just keep stirring that mixture till it's well mixed together. This is gonna go in our crock pot. It's gonna be our stew base. I'm trying to make sure that tomato paste is. Um, mixed in well to this. So I have to just keep stirring. So the seasonings, you can add any seasonings that you like. Basically, I added thyme and um, um, celery powder. What else? Um, paprika. A teaspoon of each of those. and Old Bay, but you can add whatever seasonings you'd like to that mixture. Okay, so this is ready to be transferred to the crock pot, so I'm gonna stop the camera and move over to the crock pot, reposition over to the crock pot. Okay guys, we're back. We've got a crock pot here with our ribs in there. We've got our carrots ready to add, and we've got our stock. So basically, I'm just gonna pour the stock over the short ribs, beef short ribs, okay? Just pouring it over there like so, right in the sink. Next, we're gonna add the carrots. Let's put the carrots right on top. And guess what? The crock pot does the rest. So, just gonna cover it up tightly let it cook for six hours. I just love my crock pot because I don't have to do much cooking when I use my crock pot. Okay, the main entree is on its way. All right, we'll come back when the product is, is done. Okay guys, it's been three hours and these ribs are looking, these short ribs are looking so daggone delicious. They're tender already after three hours on high. And these carrots, oh my gosh, they look so good. So I'm gonna taste a little bit of this. They're, they're pretty much tender, they're falling off the bone. They're so tender. So let's taste a little bit of it. Let's do the taste test. I can get a piece. So good. So good. Let's see if I can grab a piece to taste. Let's roll my fork in it. Okay, I'm gonna taste this piece right here. It's hot. Woo. Mm. But it's so succulent. So good. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. They look delicious. So I'm just gonna let them cook. Maybe about 30 minutes longer. We'll come back. We'll taste them with the potatoes and the vegetables. Okay, guys, here is the finished product. We have our pork rib, 
our carrots that were cooked in with the pork ribs, our green beans and potatoes, and our Gouda mashed potatoes. Mm-mm. I can't wait to dig in. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in to Ella Dishes Let's It out. out. And Bella. <laughs> All right, so please um, subscribe, okay. like, and share my videos. And for more recipes, you can go to Ella Dishes It Out. Thank you. God bless. See you on Ella Dishes It Out. Bon appetit.